w when we uh, looked at look at fish in the continent, sometimes the problem is like whether we look at it separately or whether we look at it within a bigger context of agriculture or uh, some other sectors. Uh, unfortunately, fish did not move very fast on the agenda of the, uh, in the continent because we ha had a tendency to look at it, look at it in isolation. But nowadays, fish is considered within the context of food, nutrition, agriculture. And because of that, uh, the agenda has moved and we implementing what we call the policy framework or reform strategy of the continent. Uh, where we're looking at many, many, many layers. We're looking at uh, uh, improving the fishery governance, we're looking at uh, combating waste and loss, we're looking at uh, reducing uh, post-harvest losses, we're looking at combating IUU fishing, uh, we're looking at uh, uh, developing small-scale fisheries uh, w with the role to contribute to nutrition, security uh, and food. And then we're looking at many cross-cutting issues in terms of how we can make the sector resilient, uh, how we can address the issue of, uh, of gender and youth, and how we can also <coughs> look at uh, uh, in <coughs> improving investment, <coughs> private sector investment to, into, 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 into the fisheries. So this is basically how we can see fish within the bigger context of uh, development in the continent. And that's what we expect to see. Uh, fish contributing to those various outcomes that I, I just mentioned. In terms of moving the fishery agenda in the continent, we're working very closely with world fish on, uh, on fish trade. Uh, the reason is that the knowledge is carried on fisheries in the continent, uh, so we want to improve the knowledge on fish movement in the continent. Then we Based on that knowledge gathering, we try to develop policy, tools and instruments and support member states to implement them. Uh, but this also comes with the fact that, okay, when you bring those instruments to the member state, you may face the situation where uh, your stakeholders do not have the capacity to implement. So we also uh, put in place with the support of Wolfish uh, a set of uh, measures to support member states to implement those policies. During the Committee on Fisheries of FAO, uh, organized in 2016, uh, the state of the World Fishery Report that was presented there indicated clearly that in all continents, uh, production of aquaculture is outpassing production from marine uh, wild caught fish, uh, except in Africa. So the aquaculture production productive in, Afri uh, in Africa is really, really lagging behind due to many, many reasons. So due to issue of seeds, due to issue of, uh, of feeds and the like. Um, but the demand is there. Uh, the demand for fish in the continent is very, very, very big. If you look at West Africa, you have maybe some hot spot where you have a sur surplus of fish production, but you go to areas in the Gulf of Guinea, those are uh, have deficit in fish. So if you go to Ghana, for example, the commercial size for a fingerling is like five grams, but it's almost impossible to five, find a five gram uh, fingerling on the market because the demand is so strong that sometimes the fingerlings are sold when they are two to three grams. So the demand is there. Uh, so we just need to create uh, the conducive environment for the industry to take uh, to take off, and that will demand one uh, figuring out how to bring the feed cost and seed costs down. Two put in place also some environmental safety measures to prevent uh, uh, invasive species to come into the continent, maybe uh, create some problems that are not necessary. We need also to put in place uh, some regulations to basically uh, try to monitor the development of the sector because at the moment in many countries it, those regulations are not there. Um, so I think I think the, there is a hope 
that uh, this sector will grow. And <coughs> one of the reasons why, why I think it's important to focus on fish, <coughs> excuse me, is that in the continent, uh, if you look at the protein content of meat, it's usually about 18%. But if you look at the protein content of fish, it's 21%. So fish provide more animal protein to, to human than, fish, than, than meat. Uh, and then in many cases also fish is cheaper. So I think the, there are like a lot of reasons for uh, people to invest into fish and aquaculture.